What's shaking YouTube? It's your boy Yellow Highlighter. Today we're gonna annotate some bass on a northern Texas lake that I have fished only three times. I'm a bit of a freshman on this body of water. Although, the last time I was out here, I caught this puppy right here. Myself and Bryant were filming this dope little Guggen Squad video. We caught some really nice fish. And after I caught the fish, I was like, well, maybe I should come back here and really try to figure this lake out. Well, this lake may have some pretty big bass in it. It is quite possibly one of the dirtiest lakes that I've ever fished in my entire life. It may just be one of the dirtiest lakes in Texas, period. Okay, so now that I got today's intro out of the way, you guys know what's gonna go down, but I'm done talking. Let's just sit back, crack on some fish, and I want you guys to enjoy today's video. Right now I'm gonna do something that is unheard of and throw a crankbait. I can't remember the last time I threw a moving bait. <laughs> I think this entire year. I've been so glued to bandito bugs, I've forgotten what a, a, a crankbait or a topwater or a jerkbait even looks like. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to hone in on my crankbait skills that I, I literally don't even have. So we're just gonna give this a run. Big old cranko bait. This water looks clear, I like that. There's some fish. I think it's a fish. Is it a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. There we go. On the crankbait. Heck yeah. How big is that? I can't tell. It's fighting really nicely. Wow, okay. How big is this fish? It's not a bad one. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to touch you. Oh yeah, not a bad fish whatsoever. Gotcha. <laughs> This is so weird. This is like my first hard bait fish of spring. Ate the crankbait. I had a good feeling about this dam. I was told to fish here by many people. The dam produces probably about a two and a half pounder. I like it. This is a good start, guys. It's always fun catching them on something that I haven't caught them on in a while. Good one. Crankbait is definitely not my strong suit. Moving baits in general, I'm just not super good at. I like throwing spinnerbait, swim jigs, chatterbaits are fun, but when, you know, the fish are biting on crankbaits, medium diving, deep diving, all that jazz, I just seem to, to draw blank. I, I don't really know how to hone in on my crankbait skills, and that's why you guys see me throw flip baits a lot. It's not that I haven't caught big fish on moving baits, like, sure, I have, and, and it's fun, and I can get it done, but it's not definitely one of my strong suits. So I think this year, especially come summertime. I really want to hone in on baits like this, square bills, big deep diving cranks like 10XDs, 6XDs, and try to learn these baits because I'm like freaking 23 now, you know? And, and it's like pretty pretty embarrassing that I haven't fully grasped how to use a lure like this because they're effective. They catch ginormous fish. Uh, back to the fish, that was a nice one. Caught it on a little square bill crank bait, throwing it up right against the dam, and she ate it. Barely ate it though, barely, barely ate it. One down, hopefully many more to go. That fish fell victim to this bait right here. It's like a 2.0 size crankbait. It's not exactly like the big 2.5, not that small either. Uh, it's a square bell crankbait and just a basic shad color. Probably one of the most, you know, simple, simplistic design square bells you can ever throw. And I caught that fish after I hit it on a rock. The dam produced the first bite. Let's see if we can find some more. Uh, no. How's it fishing? Caught one on a crankbait, and then I just started flipping now. Like, I just got on with some wood. I gotta finish a few things on my computer. I'm at the launch right now, so I'll probably be out there in 20 minutes. Oh, you're at the launch right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, just call me when you're done. Okay, all right, sounds good. Bye. Uh, bye. There he is. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good fish. That's a pretty good fish. That's a pretty good fish. Don't do that. that I got you. I got you. That's a pretty good fish. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Got to FaceTime Parrot real quick. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm about to show you, don't you? How big? Does it count? Wait, say hi to the camera real quick. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> Another ex-girlfriend video. <laughs> what up, camera? Um, I'll be there shortly. Okay, I'll see, I'll see you then. Bye. God damn it, bye. <laughs> bye. I am tweaking right now, boys. That just happened. That is probably... Oh, I don't know. Let's put her on the scale. Let's find out. Okay, I'm going to put this fish in the net. Or actually, I have a live well. I should probably just fill the live well up, should I? Well, let's just say I'm glad I abandoned my damn bite because... Uh, that might be one of the biggest fish I've caught all year. I don't know how big it is, but it's a very long, fat fish. I got her in the live well right now, so she's chilling. If she was on a bed, I wasn't bed fishing, but if she was on a bed, I'm right by where she should be. Um, I just wanna make sure she's good to go. How do I? Yeah, so I'm filling up the live well right now. I'm gonna let her sit. But other than that big fish, we have also quite an interesting turn of events. A little dude by the name of Alex Parrot is in Texas right now, and he just called me a few moments ago and told me that he's at the ramp of the same lake that I'm fishing. I'm thinking it's only fitting that we do what we used to do when we were kids back in high school and do a 1v1 challenge. I really wish I would have caught this fish to their challenge, but regardless, I'm pretty pumped. So I'm gonna let this guy simmer in the live well for a bit, get some nice shots and pictures, and we will throw her back. What a big, bodacious beaut. You ready to go catch some fish? More importantly, are you ready to get smoked? Look who I found just scurrying around in Texas. What are you doing at the ramp, bud? Just hanging out? Is that where you live now? <laughs> it's RV ramp. life. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I didn't, I didn't say this, but that's the brush pile that held the fish. I'm staying here because fish could have been on a bed. I don't know, but just pitched there and she ran off with it. So uh, Peric's been so kind to come over here and take a picture and video. Then after that, it's all business. It's about to get real serious. You got a scale? Uh, yeah, I do. What up, bud? I'm thinking, oh, she's, she's <laughs> jumping your boat? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn, dude, that's big. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that behemoth. That is my second fish of the day, and uh, definitely one of my biggest out of this lake. Yesterday I caught a 613, and I'm thinking this one's probably over six. Let's see. Oh my God. Oh. Yes, yes! Seven pounds, one ounce. That is a brute. <laughs> this dirty, nasty lake puts out giant fish. Who would have thought? Time for the best part, putting her back on the shrub that she came from. Seven pounds, one ounce. Wow. That's so cool. Okay, now let's really explain why you're out here. Peric decided to come to Texas for a challenge. How do you want to do this? Do you just do best five? If we catch it on a bed, we'll wait and put it back. Um, like we're, if we should just probably weigh them all and put them back. Okay, yeah. Okay. Put it back, so, and then if it's really big. Put it in the well and then we'll, yeah, we'll brag over. a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I guess you're taking my dog. Yeah, I guess you want is that to what's <laughs> Is that what's going on here? She's like, wow, this boat's way cleaner. <laughs> this is it. It's been a long time since Peric and I have filmed together. 1v1 challenge starts now. The challenge has begun. I am literally at the same exact spot where I caught that big one. I'm just gonna keep fishing my way down. There's no reason to leave. Why would I leave fish that are big and hungry and biting? So I'm just gonna keep, get the, what is this thing? Get this, go get some more. That's a big one. Oh my God, that's a giant bass. That's not a bass. There's no way that's a bass. Oh my goodness, that's a big bass. Oh, I just went right over his nose. That thing is so big. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, that thing is so big. That's his bed 100%. That thing is so giant. You guys, what I just saw, I don't even know, I can't even put it into words. I mean, I'm from Illinois, I don't know what big bass look like, but out of all the bedding fish I've seen this year, this is, I mean, it's a carp. It literally is a green carp. It's so massive. Wow, that's a stud. That's a big fish. Oh. There he is, there he is, I got him, I got him. Yep, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. Stay pinned, stay pinned now, stay pinned, stay pinned, I got gotcha. you. Yes! Woo! About damn time we broke the silence. Hoo-wee! I swear to God, I thought I was on a freaking twig. He was just, I, if I, I would not have set the hook if I literally didn't see the fish. I looked up, I looked down, and I was like, oh, that's a fish that is eating my bandito bug. I should probably set the hook. That's a good fish, probably about four pounds. Let's put him on the scale. Take that, Peric. Woo! I'm gonna say over four, no doubt. Oh, five pounds even. Yes, sir. 
first fish of the challenge and it is a meaty five pounder came right on that twig let's put this guy back and uh, we'll talk more about that whole scenario that just shook down oh yes that is the right kind of fish if i get like four more of those i am good to go not gonna lie guys i've been in a bit of a lull i lost that one fish um and like I just kind of, I don't know, I got kind of gloomy. There's a ton of boats out here too. They're having like a freaking, like the Bassmaster Classic is out on this lake tomorrow, I swear to God. But like in all reality, they're having a huge tournament. Everyone and their grandmother's nephew is out here today. So it's like battling the masses, which is totally cool. It makes it challenging. It's not even a challenge between Peric and I. It's a challenge between Peric and I and like the 50 other gooners out here. I, I mean gooners lightly. If you're watching this video and you fish today, don't don't take it personally. Yeah, but they're having like a classic out here or something like that tomorrow. So she is packed. Whew, let's go get some more. Get this, team rig, let's go. Okay, this is what I was using to catch that fish. I'm using a three-aught flipping hook. It is crazy heavy. You need this type of hook when you're fishing the kind of stuff I'm fishing today. If you're fishing open water, fishing rock or whatever, it's cool to just go with a straight worm hook. You don't necessarily need a flipping hook, but today we're flipping, so thus I'm using the meat cleaver. The weight I'm using is, I believe, a quarter ounce, which is nice because it's got a slow rate of fall. One thing I will say is that a lot, and I mean a lot of these fish are just suspending on trees that is the worst time to fish for these guys when they're just sitting above trees they're kind of got their hands in their pocket and they're like i don't know if i want to make babies or if i just want to sit here and eat or maybe i'll just kind of bask in the sun they can be such wiener heads you know back there i saw about a seven pound plus fish and she was just kind of hanging out like uh eh, your car looks like dust that's why i'm using a lighter weight because that lighter weight allows that bandito bug to fall much slower it gives that bait some hang time and allows for an opportunity to arise where that fish comes up and strikes it. There's not too many tactics you can fish and brush like this. If you can get a good foot bite going, you're in the gold. Wow, one fish and it's a five pounder. I'll take that all freaking day. There we have it. That is the duo. Little weight, little peg, big hook, legendary bandito. Let's go get some more. There he is, got another one, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Please don't come off. Another nice one. Another nice one. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes! We are on a roll. We are on a freaking roll right now, guys. That is fish number two for me, and it is another fat one. They are so shallow. I think I've just been fishing too deep while wow, the hook just popped out. Take that, AP Bassin. God, for all I know, he could be back in that creek just catching eights and nines like it's nobody business. If they're biting like this in the main lake, I really should be worried. I shouldn't be so cocky. About a three pounder, let's find out. Three, one. Yes, sir. So I got a three one and a five five pounder. That is juiced. Very juiced. Back she goes. Oh, three pounder. Came right under that piece of brush. I think what's going on here is it's kind of a half and half situation. You got one half of the lake right here, which is full of bass that just aren't so sure about spawning. And then you got the other half of the lake that is full of bass that are very committed. It's like every other lay down has a fish that is willing to eat. And I think the warmer it gets, the more committed these fish are going to be. So, so essentially the longer I fish, the better it theoretically should get. I'm starting to see these fish really, really get aggressive. So it's in both of our favors to just keep grinding. Like right now is the time to do it. It's my second fish up shallow. It's looking good. Put it there. Let's get some more. Oh, here's Peric. Yo, Chief. Got any nine pounders? Man, you know, I got a lot going on right now. Good or bad? Pretty bad. I just, I lost a six pounder twice, the same fish twice. Just dumb. Have you caught, just... have you caught any little ones or no? Oh, here you are, right here. Oh, it's you. There that's he is. You. All right, I'll just talk to you. What thing? There's a crocodile over here. Yes, alligators. Is it seriously over there? Where is it? I got so cold Where is it? There's alligators in here. Huge. Where? We saw one yesterday. A live one. This one looks like it hasn't moved. Perk, it's 100% real. That's real. You don't think that's real? He was in the same cut. Yeah, it's the same one. I bet, same exact one we saw yesterday. Let's see if Buddy moves. <laughs> Yeah, so what was that him about being real? <laughs> okay, so what we just saw was pretty rare for North Texas. Have you ever seen an alligator up here? That's the closest I'll ever get to one of those up here. That was a pretty big one. All right, so just for the peeps at home, Peric, how has your day been? So, so it sounds like you've caught fish. It hasn't been a bad day, it's been yeah. a day. All right, I'll catch up with you later. There we go, he's on, he's on. 
He's on. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Not a bad one. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Whew. That's number three for me. The parakeet is in, in the back of the same cut I am right now. So I don't want to be too loud, but I am freaking stoked about a two pounder. It's going to help me out so much. As far as I know, he still only has three fish, or two fish, sorry. I'm freaking out right now. That was a good bite. Come on, scale, turn on. There we go. Short and lumpy. No, don't hold. It's definitely not three ounces. We are looking at almost three pounds. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Yes, let us go. That is a fat fish, surprisingly heavier than I thought. Good stuff, right in the brush, or in that big tree there. See you later, alligator. Oh, big cheese. Put it there. Nice bite. Oh God, he's got it. That's a good one. It's not a small fish. It's not a small fish, oh my gosh. Don't come off, don't come off, please don't come off. Not a small fish, not a small fish. Not a small fish whatsoever. Got him, got him. Give me some of that. Woo! Ha! Ah, bandito bug. Come and get some, boy! <laughs> that is a ta ta toady. Oh my god, that was so crazy. I literally saw the fish wake on it. I didn't feel the bite. I didn't see the fish. Okay, let's get the big camera out and get some shots of this guy. Just gonna put her in the live well real quick so she's nice and chill. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Just take a quick nap. Like, dude, on just the outside, just coming in here, I flipped to a piece of brush, and I didn't feel anything, didn't see the fish, I just saw this massive boil. Like, thought, not on the shoreline? No. In the middle of the channel? No, no, like in deep water, like probably Damn. five foot. Yeah, it's probably- You look good. This has probably been the weirdest day of my entire life for fishing. Um, in this crusty little live well, Long John Silver box right here, we have got another behemoth. I don't think I've ever caught I literally don't think I've ever caught this many big ones before in my entire life. Get old Jimmy out of the well. We're gonna get a weight on guy. <sighs> Look at that. Right, let's get the weight, and then we'll release her. What was your last one, 7-2? My last big one was 7-1. Seven, 7-1, one. Seven, one, I bet you this is 7-2. You think? Ah, I just wanna stay optimistic. She's so thick, dude. Yeah, she is fat. She's a pound off of my last big one, 6-1. One. Oh, really? Yeah, just not a very thick. <laughs> You're right, she's thick, but she's not long. Regardless, we're gonna get a picture because she's beautiful and she's photogenic. We're gonna dip her back into the dusty water. This is the dustiest water you've ever fished. Dude, this there's garbage disgusting. everywhere. Yeah, diapers. Garbage everywhere. Yeah. Back Burfa goes. What an unreal day. Look how wide these fish are, man. Do you miss Illinois? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fades away into the oh. abyss of garbage. Nice job, dude. We've caught some fish today, seriously. I've so. lost some fish, but I have caught one before. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, the day is done. Clock has run out. It's zero, 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 zero. No more fishing. What do you think? What's the word on the street as far as how much? Hold on, let me go look closer. You're really far away. Yeah, sorry. I gotta sorry. yell at you. Okay, so yeah, just give me a breakdown, like in brief summary, like cliff notes of your day. What all you your, about it? Oh my. <laughs> I lost the same six pounder over there twice. Lost him twice. <laughs> Wait, one was on a, I'm not gonna ruin it, but one was a very hairy situation, right? Yes, yeah. yes. One was, like, the first time I hooked him and he, like, swam off. The second time I fought him and lost him. Yeah. I lost a nice one over there, and I caught a nice one. So it was a good day. Make sure, honestly. That is the ticket. Dude. I'm not throwing anything. People, my viewers are pissing me because that's all I throw now. <laughs> but it's all that worked. I'm not gonna add up the tally, but essentially paracat, I think three fish uh, for somewhere around like eight, nine, ten, yeah, eight, pounds, eight pounds, something like that. Um, and then I would have had probably a fairly similar weight if I had not caught that big one at the end. So it was a killer day for two newbies who grew up in Illinois. I feel like we did pretty good on this lake. Like, just craziness. It does help that we're here on the perfect timing. Spawn is the time to. Um, to get them, but uh, yeah, yeah. you're get, trying to get into fishing. This is the time like, yeah. to get into fishing yeah. because fish are shallow. You can catch a big fish yes. even without a boat. Like, big fish are moving up and they become a little bit easier for us goons. So you guys have to make sure you pick up some of these bandito bugs. Um, like it's 
it's ridiculous, but it's all I've been using this season. Um, not because I don't know how to use a crankbait, but it's just because it's what's working. I'll leave a link to the top of the description below where you can get some. I was throwing Blue Baby, you were throwing Bama Bug. Get some colors, get some Kraken Crawls, get some Slim Shakes, some Dragon Drops. Dragon Drop season's coming up. Guys, gotta stock up on those too. I threw it today a little bit. Yeah, Peric threw it today. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to Peric's channel. That will also be right where the Bandito Bug link is. They'll be like right next to each other. Anyway, we are getting off the water. Thanks for the view. Peace and out. As always, folks, keep fishing.